Hi guys, so <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. Um, if you hear a noise, it's the dishwasher running. So just like bear with for this video for that. Um, okay, so we're just gonna jump right into another like wig and chat and yeah. Um, so Shikari Richardson, everybody should know about her now if you don't she is the amazing fantastic just super star track runner that um has basically become a overnight sensation um she ran track for the university of louisiana well, not the University of Louisiana, LSU is the school, but um, Louisiana State University, um, where Shaquille O'Neal went to college. So, um, but um, she basically became an overnight sensation. She broke all kinds of records over the weekend, over this past weekend, mm -hmm. um, with her Olympic trials, and, and I mean, she's headed to the Olympics, she is. And it's unfortunate because as much as people were talking about what she did with her craft and what she's basically been training her body to do for the last, I think she's 23. So basically for the last 20 years, maybe, maybe 18 years, more people all over social media were more interested in talking about what she looked like. So in honor of Shakari Richardson and her fiery orange, um, you know, trailblazing color of fire that runs behind her when she flies down the track, um, I am reviewing, here is Zelina. Um, this is an old one. Um, I've been trying to get this wig for like the last six months and every single time I've tried it's been sold out So they they just restocked it. I would say maybe two weeks ago So I mean every single website I would go to wig types hair and beauty diva tress um, Elevate styles hair stuff like no one had it and so I'm finally 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 able to get Selena I know everybody that participates in wig wearing has reviewed Selena. She was all the rage when she came out and so I'm getting ready to see why. But I re I'm reviewing her in um, Flame with Josh Auburn. I don't have any orange wigs to celebrate Shakari Richardson and just everything that she stands for looks like is. Um, <clears throat> but Flamboyage Auburn was a close enough color to me that I feel like um, you guys get the point. <clears throat> so, um, it's this is from I bought her from um, divatress.com. It's from Cloud9, the Swiss lace um, what lace collection, and it's a 13 by six. So again, everybody in this wig wearing community has probably reviewed her. So it's not like I'm doing anything life altering or life changing here. Um. <clears throat> So Shikari Richardson, she has like run in everybody's lives, flown in everybody's lives. She's an exceptional athlete. Like she really, really is. And it's unfortunate because all over social media, I saw things like she was, she's too muscular um, in terms of aesthetic, how aesthetically or not aesthetically pleasing she is to the eye when it comes to the male gaze like she gives a damn at all about what her body looks like towards men when it's literally her body is built to win olympic medals not to please men um people were talking about her orange wig that she was wearing her 15 inch nails that she was wearing her lashes curl to the gods that she just had constructed so beautifully to the point where she was literally flying down the track and nothing came off i mean <laughs> girlfriend what kind of glue are you using and can you sell it um bottle it up and spread that all over everywhere um 
So I just, I get so irritated when it comes to just men. And I feel like it's a lot of black men who just really were coming for her appearance, talking about how, oh my gosh. So we're just going, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to crib train right now. Hopefully she goes back to sleep. It has been a monster of the last couple days trying to get her used to falling asleep in her crib. So if you hear her, we're going to ignore her. And hopefully she goes to sleep or goes back to sleep. I digress. It's really, it's really sad, but it's really also just, it continues to um, reaffirm the fact that for whatever reason, like black men just get so butthurt, get so um, insulted, they get so threatened when somebody like this beautiful black woman is literally breaking records with her speed and she's just getting demolished in on social media based on what she looks like um and i just kind of want to know why like why is this woman breaking records and the one thing that she needs to comment on is how she looks like you Twitter thugs, you social media thugs sitting behind your keyboards and your Blackberries or iPhones or Androids, whatever you have, um, trying to act like your opinion about this woman and her looks is even gonna matter. And it doesn't, I'm sure this is, I'm sure these comments are not the first, second, third, 15th, a thousandth time she's heard about what she looks like but <clears throat> that's not the point either the point is why do people feel the need to go attack somebody in the midst of greatness can't you just say good job and move the f on so this is i would consider medium head friendly I mean, I would consider big head friendly, but um, it's a, it's not, oh, it's not snug because I'm gonna have to go in and adjust the straps no matter what. But I just feel like it's, um, I don't know, I don't feel like it's obnoxiously huge the way, and the way it could be. <laughs> so, you know, Shikari Jackson has this like fire orange. I don't know, maybe 36 inch weave hanging behind her as she like sprints off. And it's beautiful. I think it's so symbolic of just like this comet, you know, this shooting star that no one's catching. And, you know, she's got her, her nails all the way out to like there, which is reminiscent of um, Florence, um, Flojo of who used to kill it in track was an Olympic gold medalist in track as well and she used to she used to keep her nails done done so it's very reminiscent of that but it just seems like it's just it's so it's so sad because you know this she's kicking butt this is the year where like Simone Biles is killing it you know, on the mats in the um, gymnasium, and here comes Shafari Richardson just killing it. And it's, of course, she, she, you know, that can't just be good enough. She has to, unfortunately, be talked about for her hair, be talked about for her athletic build, be talked about for her nails. Um, I was watching a YouTube video and which 
um, the woman was talking about a man that she was referencing on Instagram and he was talking about how you know if she was in the real world um, this look wouldn't be able to fly and like black women we can't have it both ways we can either celebrate the fact that you know Shakari Richardson is an Olympic is going to the Olympics and killing it um, based on how she looks um, but we also have to acknowledge the fact that if she wasn't a superstar athlete, she would just look like somebody ratchet coming out of the club and that's not how you want black women represented. And it's just like, okay, I understand at a certain level, you can get away with doing more things the higher up in the financial food chain you go. But again, like, it's just, it's so, it's so on brand for that to be like why you're trying to make your claim to fame it's not about supporting her it's not about saying you know okay I wouldn't necessarily want you know my daughter to go outside the house looking like that or I wouldn't necessarily think that you know with all the bonnet talk and slipper talk and um Monique talk about presenting ourselves in public that you know this is an acceptable way to present ourselves in public I get what he's saying to an extent but it's like she's obviously not going to be in like the normal stages of like normal people she's obviously not she's going to be an olympic athlete she's getting ready at a bunch of brand deals if she hasn't already um you see that weave hanging down she's getting ready to get wig deals and you know hair especially for um women is a billion dollar industry um any type of like nails any type of like eyelash this girl is getting ready to bank and if she handles it properly not only will she be set for life but she'll be doing what a lot of people are telling us african americans to do and that's to have financial security for our kids and our kids grandkids and if she handles her business she could be taking care of her kids and her kids grandkids for the rest of their life so it's just like off of her ratchet look that this dude on um, Instagram was trying to come for. Even though it had nothing to do with the fact that she had just <laughs> broken records for her speed, which has absolutely nothing to do with what she looks like. Okay, so this is Zelina Flamboyage Auburn. Um, I did have to adjust the straps because it was like medium head friendly. Um, again, I know everybody on YouTube has reviewed Selena. I, I'm not at all trying to come in here and trying to act like, you know, any of this is new information. I am five, seven and a half, and this is where she falls on me. Um, I know I've kind of just been like <laughs> bashing a lot of the other wigs that have come out because I don't feel like they're really like summer season appropriate or I don't feel like I could get a lot of real wear in the summer so I've kind of put them to the back burner to get them I mean to be able to um have like my fall hair ready um in terms of color I think this is absolutely absolutely stunning um I I didn't really ever like think of myself as somebody who could wear auburn hair I don't know I kind of looked at auburn as like burnt copper or like you know penny colored and I especially didn't think that I could pull off auburn in the summertime because um I just feel like my undertones just don't like wouldn't offset auburn really well but I actually don't I don't hate this color on me I actually think it is pleasantly surprising I like this color on me more than I like the flamboyage mocha from either Emery or the sensational bottle lace 16 I got both of those in flamboyage mocha and I just don't think light brown looks good on me and I mean I don't know I just don't think it does I think that I'm just I think it washes me out I don't know if it's just my undertones like sliding into warm during the summer um 
I, I but I just don't think light brown looks good on me I for whatever reason I think the darker colors look are looking really good on me and my undertones for um, this weather so this is probably I'd say it's a light yakky it's, it's very much like 90% silky and like maybe 10% yakky if it is yakky but it's a little bit yakky um, So I bought tinting spray and I'm very interested to see when it gets here how this is gonna work because I know this is the sensational what lace but it's very obvious that you know in my opinion there's lace um I don't think it's the worst thing in the world like it It looks like it could blend decently easy. I don't know though, we'll have to experiment. Um, but I think for like the summer, it's a shorter style, it's a shorter unit. Now don't get me wrong, I think Flame Voyage Auburn will look really pretty in the fall. I think this color will look really pretty in the fall. But for in terms of like the length of the unit, I, I don't feel like it's obnoxious for summer. I feel like it could really like be a be a summer look. Um, but I, I see this color and I just, I think of Shikari Richardson and I think of, you know, how many women are told based on what they look like. Um, it just like, that's the main thing, like you surpass. Obviously the <laughs> main event of what's going on and you know, I, I, the last video that I talked about, like, personal appearance and presentation was the, um, the Sensational Buttelace, um, 16 unit that I did. I talked about, like, the Monique PSA that she put out with the, um, bonnets and scarves and, um, robe attire. And I'm not backtracking because I absolutely stand by everything that I said in that video. Um, I think what makes this a little bit different is the fact that <clears throat> this is a black woman who she's accelerating and she's the best at her craft and that should be what we're focusing on it shouldn't be about she's too muscular she's got orange hair she's got 19 inch nails she's got lashes for days it, it shouldn't be about that when you accelerate at a craft that can take you into financial places that it your looks won't matter i think there's a difference because again lebron james can tattoo his entire body lebron james can tattoo his face if he wants to lebron james will never have to worry about working for anything that may put up a barrier to him because of what he looks like if he were to decide to tattoo his face. He'll never have to worry about that. His kids will never have to worry about that. So it's different when you excel at a craft and that is your, what people know about you, what you're known for. For us regular folk out here, who will have to work substantially for the rest of our lives, we have to present in a way that we can't just do whatever we want because we are not financially free to be able to do that. And so, no, I wouldn't necessarily want my child walking out the house looking like that, but if my child could run a 100 meter dash in 10 point whatever Shakari Richardson did and was setting up for the Olympics, then I hope she embraces who she is. And I hope that she you know, if that's what she wants to wear, you know, you're paying the cost to be the boss. You've dedicated yourself to something to where it's going to get you paid, to where you won't have to worry about personal appearance per se like that. And and again, I'm not saying like the bonnets and the stuff like that, like if you've made it to a certain level, that's how you need to present yourself in public. Cause I, I don't think so at all. I, I, I don't think at any level, but I'm saying she has dedicated herself to a craft enough that 
that will pay her to where she can bypass, you know, certain walls that won't be in front of her based on her appearance. Us regular folk don't have that luxury. Now, if we had been working on a craft that's gonna pay our bills to where we wouldn't have to worry about that, then sure, you know, we can go out the house with orange hair. But so many African-American men, for whatever reason, just dog this woman out on her appearance. And it's just like, this woman's gonna be making money. Her, her kids are gonna be set. She's doing what she loves and she's the best at it. So you and your opinions about what she looks like, because what she looks like, she's not doing it for a man. I think she's LGBTQ, I think. So her interest isn't even directed towards the male gaze. It's not for the male gaze. It really is just an extension of who she is, an expression of who she is. And it's just like, thank you, but no thank you again. Like celebrate who she is and what she's done with her body. Hello, that's why we're there. It's an Olympic event. And th the rest of it, no one asked you. She sure as hell didn't. So like, <laughs> bye. Anyway, that's just my two cents about Shakari Richardson. I'm doing this video to pay homage to her. Um, you're killing the game, girl. You obviously don't need me to tell you that. And like I said before, I'm sure this isn't the first or the last time you will have heard or will hear comments about what you look like. You're it and you're doing the damn thing. So, you know, <laughs> keep going. Um, I can't wait to watch it at the Olympics, so. Um, so this is Zelina and, uh, yeah, if you're interested in getting a really cool wig, that's fun. Um, like I said, Zelina's been reviewed multiple times. This ain't nothing new, but Flamboyage Auburn. I'm, 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 I'm digging this color. I really am. I'm probably going to order a couple more over the fall. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.